We're seeing more and more kids getting involved in entertainment at younger and younger ages. But where do we draw the line between what's helping them and what's hurting them? Singing, rapping, and dancing sensation Jayla Marie is on her way to ruling the music world at age 12. Hip hop superstar Remy Ma can relate. I started writing my first rhymes when I was 11, 12, like that. But, you know, do I wish that I would have finished high school when I was supposed to and went to college at the time when I was supposed to? Absolutely. Dr. Elisa English says the track record of child stars as adults is disturbing. Children should develop normally. They should have less exposure to TV, less exposure to video games, they, less exposure to stadiums of 20,000 people and you're on the stage. This is not a career that's guaranteed. You know, I would, I would hate to, to see false hope go into something, you know, and their hearts get broken because not too many people make it to be successful entertainers. Heavy Metal has its own 12-year-old star in Ty Trujillo, son of Metallica bass player Robert Trujillo. He's filling in for Korn's bass player on tour. Children want to please their parents. Children love their parents. It worked out for Zay Hilfiger and Zayan McCall. The success of the teen duo's Juju on that beat landed them a record deal. For females, the drive for perfection is even bigger than the drive for being famous, says Kelly Osborne. She's seen it all growing up as the daughter of famous parents, music icon Ozzy Osborne and his wife Sharon, now a TV host. We caught up with her as she was promoting her new book. People need to realize that being perfect is gross and does not exist. And you will be chasing that for the rest of your life because there will always be someone prettier than you, smarter, funnier, right behind you. So who cares? Just be the best you that you can be. Some say the real issue is whether it's the parent's dream or the child's. Let's find out what our panel has to say. Joining us, Somia Krishnamurthy. She's a music journalist and pop culture expert. Great to have you. Hello. Also with us is Consequence. He's a rapper, producer, and songwriter. He's about to go on tour with his five-year-old son, Caden, on a festival run with Tribe Called Quest. Con's great to have you in studio again. Thanks for having me again. Thank you for being with us. Also with us is Dr. Elisa English. She's a clinical therapist. Great to have you back again with us. Thank nice you so to much. Be here. Somia, let me start with you on this. Is this really a growing trend or are we just seeing more of it? I think we're just seeing more of it. There, I think since the invention of song and dance, there have been parents who've wanted to push their kids in that direction. Um, with social media, nowadays there's just more transparency. So from the womb to when they're grown up, you see little kids everywhere on Twitter, on Instagram. I know so many people who even before their kid is born, they make sure to take that Instagram placeholder for the name of their unborn kid because you never know. They could be the next model, actor, <laughs> rapper, movie star. So parents are really thinking ahead. But I think that really goes hand in hand with our social media culture. Everyone's on social media, so it's no wonder that so are their kids. And it's the next step is just with the video and showing it and, and being out there like that. Cons, you told me, and this was actually, you're actually the inspiration for this show, so I'm so happy you're here with us. When we were having the conversation at Double XL, you said, you know what, Lisa, this is a way for me to spend time with my son, because I'm in a business where we're working seven days a week a lot of times, in the studio late at night on promo tours. Yeah. What made you want to get into this with Caden, to this extent, well, where you're going on tour with him with Tribe? Well, honestly, it was what he wanted to do initially. It uh, started with him just wanting to spend time with me because, like you said, uh, you know, with us, with the schedule that I have, um, I'm home, but I'm not home. I'm in and out. I'm out of town, you know. So when I'm in town, you know, that's my, my son is my buddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my best friend. So... Um, when he asked, I couldn't really tell him no. He's a he's the only child, and it's just like, yeah, I didn't really get to go to work with my dad when I was young. So it was something that I wanted to uh, facilitate for him. You know what I'm saying? Like you you want you want the next generation to be better than the former. You know what I mean? So um, it was really a no brainer for him to start tagging along with me, and like he's just. He has his own charisma, he has his own thoughts, and like people really like him. But is this the type of thing of where, you know, he's on the weekends, he's he's with you and in the studio or doing something like that, or is this like an everyday thing? Um, it's 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 pretty much like um 
it's a lifestyle because because I mean you know and obviously um, being a responsible parent and his mother is obviously a responsible parent um, you know school comes first um, so like for instance he wanted to come today but he's in school today so right. we couldn't you know I couldn't facilitate that Kane you can come anytime <laughs> <laughs> you're welcome after school <laughs> but he has to you know like you know his his mom is really really good with um, making sure that everything stays intact from an education and that there standpoint. stays some balance dr yeah. lisa we've seen a lot of cases though i mean going back like mm -hmm. and not just in in hip-hop and in the music industry but also the acting profession you know from the jackson five we've mm -hmm. seen what happened to the family some of the family members there lindsay lohan mm -hmm. some of these child stars have had a lot of problems later on yeah i mean i totally respect the fact that consequence is looking for alternative ways to spend time with children and we know that that family bond is extremely important however it's also important that we understand this the mental and emotional development of young people and the fact that they have environmental immunity and genetic immunity to emotional stability and so if you create a false sense of reality for them you don't necessarily build up the immunity that they need to fight off what they will need to fight off when they get become adults what do you mean by that I mean they will I'm a go little through, confused so they will go through challenges and problems and breakups and makeups and loss of jobs and friends and family things where they really need to cope with life and when you overexpose them to what I consider like a false sense of reality you're exposed to all these things in the entertainment industry you're doing all these things and then all of a sudden things fall flat at 10 or 11 I mean we find like your children been by the time you're in your preteen you well, years right. what, what about so, that everybody I mean, jump in well I think well well I think that's a that's a case in, case in point scenario because um, yeah if you're taking your kid to casting calls and you're taking your kid to um, and that and you're like that's circumstantial and there's nothing wrong with that you know what I'm saying but um, that's a whole different thing because yeah casting right call, that, that's for what people saying. that have like, never been to one you yeah, you're, there's yeah, like, like if you sit there, if, you, if you're using your kid to sit for gold <laughs> you know, essentially right. you know what I'm saying right, then yeah. yeah that that's a burden right um, yeah. I mean my situation is a little different because my son um, is essentially like if I it's just the same thing as if I, if I was a firefighter and I stayed in a firehouse and I brought my son uh, one or two days out the week to see what what uh, being a firefighter is all about in a in a safe parameter. I don't see anything wrong with that. Right, is but there, the is there a difference? Is not, I think there's an interesting just, difference there right. because you know when it comes to kid actors or performers a lot of times some of these horror stories you hear is when the kid really was the bread earner in the family exactly. and you oftentimes oh, yeah. hear of someone like a Justin Bieber um, or even in many cases the Jackson 5 where they really went from nothing to something and I think at a very young age the kids knew our family's financial futures on my back if I don't ace this casting call if I don't really go in that audition and get that role we may not eat and oftentimes you see where the par the parents give up their jobs they have no salary I think in the case um, of consequence I don't want to speak for you but it's kind of different with celebrities because in many ways this is an extension of what they're already doing right so for me my dad um, is a scientist so I went to the lab all the time um, which as prepared a you for <laughs> pop culture and hip hop <laughs> totally <laughs> well, prepared well, me to be right. in a laboratory well, well, right well, right well prepared her for the reality that you have to make a career choice. Right, right, right. Absolutely, and, I, and again, so for me, I grew up in academia because my family are professors, they're scientists, so that's the environment that I know. The same way for Kanza's kid, being in the studio, being on stage, that's just the lifestyle that they know, and I think that's very different. And you know, knowing Kanz for so many years, I would say if that your son said, you know what, Dad, I don't want to do this. I want to be an archaeologist, or I just want to be a kid and go play basketball. You'd say, okay, because your family's financial future is not dependent yeah, on your son. That, yeah, my 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 son's um, whatever his desires in life don't hinge on um, him being able to um, complete a record at this point. You know, like we do songs. He he has a bunch of records that we're doing. 
Um, but it's not like you're gonna have to finish this record, or I won't, won't let you yeah, play we're, video we're games. Getting <laughs> right. No, we're not getting evicted. We're gonna be eating ramen right, we'll you know the next month. Okay, yeah. hold on, with, hold that thought, because we're gonna take a short break. This is Street Soldiers. I'm your host, Lisa Evers. We're talking about kids and entertainment. We'll be back right after this. Those ills of society have gone right. on before social media. Absolutely. Those ills of society have gone on well before any of us in this room were on a Therefore, plan. Therefore, we should be in a better place. In theory. In but that's theory. Not, you don't live life in theory. You live life in, in reality and in gravity. Is there a difference if the parent is already famous, Dr. Elisa? For example, you have consequences already famous. Is that different because now he doesn't, he's not living through his son? No. The development of children is what it is, whether you have money or not. Zero to five is a very important developmental stage for a child. Overexposure to too much, too soon, too fast isn't necessarily the most healthy way to um, have a child build up a certain resistance to the pain and the uh, the negativity that they're going to have to face in life every day. And you see it every day with children, even those who aren't necessarily um, have a father-like consequence. I mean, you. I see people living through social media and trying to act out all sorts of things through social media. They're not even focused on school because there's so much that they're exposed to via the internet that they no longer have an interest in school. They haven't. They have no real good coping skills. And I'm not talking about someone five or six. I'm talking about 15 and 16 year olds. They haven't developed the good the coping. Yeah, coping skills. <laughs> Absolutely. Cons, what about the balance? Like, how do you how do you deal with the values with him? Um, I think you just have to be a good parent. You know what I mean? I think um, um, with. I don't know necessarily how you come to the determination of what's overexposure for a five-year-old when it's you know I don't I don't I don't know that I'm, I'm not a psychologist I don't because I'm just thinking like man what is Assad gonna do he's gonna be rich and, <laughs> yeah, and you're Asad. talking about well let's talk let's talk about it. Assad is DJ DJ Khaled's eight-month-old son who's I don't already think, been on I, the cover of less, Double XL oh, magazine so. yeah, I, and I he's got now, his Instagram account not, has, has his, over, almost six hundred thousand yeah, followers yeah, like, yeah. like here's you the follow, thing I like me, like, like I get I get like, that here's the thing like but is that but there is overexposure to to have an Instagram account for a child, to have all of this social media exposure, you know, the brain develops at a, in a, at a certain pace in a certain way. To have your child engage in things that for, for too soon, too fast, isn't necessarily the best way for a child to develop healthy coping skills. With myself and with Khaled and with Fab, like we have the ability to pull back at any given moment because it's not a situation where we are dependent on our children to, to feed the family. So, for example, if so, he says in like I said, he's not he's not even here today because he's in school. Like if, if, if my if my son was my lick, <laughs> right. right? If my son was the lick, he would be here. We're not gonna miss a moment. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's, are we doing this I for Fox? Are we doing this for High 97? That that that's the that, that's the lick in the game. You're so, mixing apples and oranges. Consequence. This is not about you being a good dad or Khalid or no, Khalid I, I, or fabulous or whoever no, no, else. The point, this is about the fact whether or not children should be exposed at an early age to all sorts of things that then in the, in the end when they become adults and maybe you're no longer around and they need to develop healthy coping skills so they can survive in the world. Okay, day to look, day, look, look, they're not prepared look, because they've been exposed to Listen, arenas I, I, of three I, I, million I people. I, I understand your diagnosis, I mean, but I think it's a I'm not little, diagnosing. I, I just, I'm having it, a conversation. Okay, so I understand your take <laughs> on the conversation, but I, I feel like it's a little, it has a little bit of tunnel vision because what you're not with the way the world is now. A absolutely. And that's the problem. That's why 75% okay, of children drop out of school. Let me ask you Celebrity this. Celebrity children are addicted to drugs. 80% of people have tried some kind of illicit drug. We need to be clear about what's going on in society. It's not just celebrity children. But Dr. Elisa, but, isn't but this, it better? The, the, those ills of society have gone right. on before social media. Absolutely. Those ills of society have gone on well before any of us in this room were on a Therefore, planet. we should be in a better place. Okay, but In look, theory. In but that's theory. Life is not, uh, you don't live life in theory. You live life in, in reality and in gravity so the thing is when you dealing with reality and gravity you deal with most people from a human being standpoint do what's easiest right I think whether you agree with it or not that's my take on life I think most we people all live life in reality 
however that no, no. whatever that reality is for you. So for us to say to Jackson Five and the family did not provide a certain platform for them to be healthy adults. So I, therefore, I no, well, I'm just saying to... we, Lizzie, Lindsay Lohan and whoever else. I mean, we can't say that their families did not create a, a space for them to have good adaptive skills, but they then became succumb to drugs. I think and Joe, alcohol. I think okay, Joe, but they could have succumbed Joe to drugs. Whether or not they were celebrities or not. Let me come at let me come at this from the social media standpoint. Two arguments. So me, tell me what you think. Because here's a side, little baby aside. He's got this. He's got. By the time he he can't even read yet. He can't even really speak yet. And he by the time he's able to understand what's being said about him, there's this whole digital long, big footprint, footprint yeah. trail. It's a case by case with every celebrity. And Absolutely. Again, right. I don't know Assad and right. his fiance personally. And everybody, a lot of people who know cons were you know, and how you are with Caden and everything like that, it's really great. And right. It's an inspiration and it's a great role model. And I wanna say that because we've done so many shows on fatherhood yeah. and the importance of yes. fathers. It's a great example, especially, you know, to these young guys having their first kid too, that that you can be cool, you can be in the game, you can be doing your thing, and you can still be taking care of your family. And love your kids and so I think love, that, and love that's your what's love great. Your, whether you're a bus cool. driver or your cool. consequence. Right. Yeah. So, Mia, yeah. do you think it's like a difference between, <laughs> there, there's a big difference like when the parents are already famous, that, that there think, there's not that living through, because the other aspect of this, we've seen like the shows like the Dance Moms, yeah. like these beauty contestants, you know, there's this whole thing of where you see the parent, and the parent's kind of like the ugly duckling, not to make an <laughs> inappropriate comment, but, you know, the parent was never a beauty queen, but they want the, the little girl is, is out there and they're, they're kind of living vicariously. Same thing with sports. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. all the, these fights mm -hmm. you see at these kids' sports games. and I and think it's in, in every field. I mean, yeah. we're talking specifically now about music and the arts, but like you said, you go to any kid's soccer game oh and God. you see some parents just screaming at right. the ref and it's like, your kid isn't Pele. I don't know what you're doing right, right. now. Right. Exactly. Um, or they really hope that their kid is the next Kobe or the next LeBron and sometimes the kid can live up to that and everyone is happy, but think about all the times that doesn't happen. And I think the biggest thing as a parent would probably be to have that open conversation that if your kid says, you know what, mom or dad, I'm not good at this, or I don't like this anymore. I want to go do something totally different. But it's hard, right? Because right. even as a parent, you know, take the legacy aside. Think about all the hours you've invested, the money you, you've invested in coaches and stylists and trainers. And, you know, there's going to be kind of a back and forth conflict. I think what's interesting now is it's social media, so it's in front of everyone. So let's say 16 years from now, baby Assad, who will now be teenage Assad, doesn't want anything to do with the industry. <laughs> Exa at all. And the question like is, like, he wants oh, to be a monk time. or something somewhere. He totally wants to be a monk. Um, you know, can he then go to his dad and say, you know what, remove all of my social media footprint. I don't want anyone to know me. And again, it's it's fine now because the comments are positive, but sadly, some celebrity kids, they're judged like their parents. Like, oh, your mom was very attractive, so you need to be attractive. But or people your father is tall, you need to be very athletic. Mm -hmm. And what happens to those kids who kind of grow up feeling like they may be, for lack of a better term, the ugly duckling, the black sheep of the family? How do they reconcile with that? But Cons, do you feel, do you feel like, like dads are being kind of under attack a little bit for doing this? I did, more so than even uh, making it about moms or dads, I just think, um, just from listening, you know, it, it's very rare that anybody's ever been taught how to be a, an emotional okay. manager. Right, like, right. We don't, we're not, we, there's no guideline of blueprint to manage your own emotions, mm -hmm. yeah. let alone, yeah. you know. Your children. So mm -hmm. the thing is, like, what what I see like like once again to, uh, to even go back to Khaled like at least th there is a documented bond. I want to thank all of you for being with us for this episode of Street Soldiers. Remember, use your mind. It's your best weapon. I hope it's your only weapon. I'm Lisa Evers. Let's push for peace.